guys okay so today we are talking Nordstrom anniversary sale now if you are new to my channel you might not know that I have a video that went up like two weeks ago where I completely ranted about Nordstrom because I was so mad with their launch date and I'm not gonna go into it because you can watch that video I'll link it down below for you it's really long and really rambly but I was really mad and in fact I still am really mad at Nordstrom because their entire process this year was just awful Long story short, I placed my order on early access day, which was the 12th, and I didn't get all of my packages until yesterday. So I got my very last package yesterday. Today is Saturday the uh, 20th or something like that. I don't even know what today is. Um, but basically, I'm going to try to post this video either tonight or tomorrow. Um, so yeah, I didn't get my last package until Friday, which was more than two weeks later. So... Anyways, aside from that, I do think that this was a really exciting sale. Nordstrom had some really, really awesome products. If you're unfamiliar, um, the Nordstrom anniversary sale, basically what happens is Nordstrom puts all of their brand new fall items on sale before the season. And then after the sale, they just like adjust the price back to the normal price. So they take the discount off and then put them on the floor as the normal seasonal products. So you're basically getting the discount before the season instead of after the season, which is usually how sales work. They also have exclusive products. So specifically in like the beauty section, they have a ton of like Nordstrom beauty exclusives. So products that you can only get at Nordstrom and things like that. And I tried to really restrain my beauty purchases because I'm in the process right now of like a huge collection declutter which you guys will start to see those videos soon so I think I did pretty good at restraining my beauty purchases but I did buy some boots some sweaters um, some shirts things like that so I'm gonna stop rambling and just show you what I got I have this mountain of boxes next to me the top one is literally up here there's one two three four seven boxes and I did throw away two of them already so they have this thing where they don't ship all the products together I don't know it's super weird so let's go ahead and get started okay I'm gonna start with beauty products because Mel's makeup 88 <laughs> um, so the first thing I got I was really excited for this and I didn't see this in their catalog so they have like this catalog they send out ahead of time this wasn't in there in fact a lot of stuff wasn't in there and I think they do that on purpose to kind of hold a little bit of like suspense and surprise because on launch day there were so many cool things so I saw this I swooped it up immediately this is the beauty blender blend and cleanse carry kit there is a beauty blender cleanser solid that is in there it's like hiding but it's supposed to be right there it looks like something's missing but it's not it's in there so basically this is two beauty blenders plus this carrying case. I was mostly interested in the carrying case because every single time I travel, I have no idea what to do with my beauty blender. Like it's just so awkward and it's wet and it's never, never dries and it's just super weird. So basically this is like a giant pill that you can put your beauty blender in and it has little holes in there to let it air out. That way it's not just like bouncing around your makeup bag and I actually do a lot of traveling and I'm going to be doing a lot more traveling like very very soon so I think that this is going to be perfect I want to say that this product this was $30 or $35 I'm going to link the prices to everything in my description box as well as a link to the product in my description box that way if you're interested in shopping the sale grab these items the sale goes through the 5th of August which is I think this coming Friday so you have about a week left a few days left um, gosh what is today the 28th or 29th is today um, but anyways you have a couple of more days and most of these products are still available I didn't get a lot of hot items so yeah definitely like check out my description box the prices so anyways usually one of these beauty blenders is twenty dollars so the fact that you're getting two beauty blenders plus the little carrying pill plus the cleanser solid which is right here it's pink too which is kind of cool i've never had a pink one before for like 30 35 dollars is an amazing steal i didn't really need beauty blenders but the carrying case is really cool so the next beauty related item I picked up is the makeup eraser two pack kit I feel like the makeup eraser is one of those products that like I never talk about but I use it all the time I use it every single night before bed I just I kind of forget to talk about it which is unfortunate because it's such an amazing like it's just a washcloth right but it's 
it's a better, I don't know, it's, it's awesome. Um, so this is like the two pack. I want to say this was $20, $25. There's no price tag on this, but yeah, there's no price tag on it. I'll link it down below for you guys. But yeah, one of these alone at Sephora is $20, I believe. So getting the two is just like an amazing deal. Plus they're really cute designs. So there's one that kind of looks like a watermelon, this one right here. So it's like a fuchsia with dots on it. And then this one is really cute. It has eyelashes and lips on it. Like it's just so cute. But yeah, basically I use these at nighttime. So I'll use a cleansing oil. Then I'll go in my makeup eraser to get the residual. Then I'll go in with a facial cleanser. Like I have this whole spiel and I definitely use these every single night. And then this I think was just a free gift with purchase. I think it's like little miniature versions of the makeup eraser, which, you know, might be good for travel. Then I picked up two Charlotte Tilbury products. I'm so excited for these because I have wanted to try Charlotte Tilbury forever and ever and ever, but I've never bit the bullet because it is quite pricey. I actually really wanted to get a Charlotte Tilbury lipstick for wedding makeup and they don't sell Charlotte Tilbury like physically, locally in North Carolina anywhere or South Carolina anywhere. So I would have had to order online and then it's like you don't know because the colors, you know, stuff like that. You know, for wedding makeup, you want it to be perfect. So yeah, Nordstrom had these two things for their anniversary sale. They're both beauty exclusives. The Beauty Blender Cleanser Kit, or the Beauty Blender Kit is a Nordstrom exclusive also. However, I think that pill is coming to Sephora soon, but it won't be like in that kit. And makeup erasers you can get anywhere. Oh yeah, $25. The price is on this one, right there. This was $25. And it says it's a $40 value. So yeah, these sell for $20 each. Anyways, I'm tangenting. Um, so yeah, these are beauty exclusives. So the first thing I got is the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Kit. There's only one of these that's part of the Nordstrom like sale. And this little tag says it's a beauty exclusive. So basically this comes with a lip liner and two lipsticks. So the lip liner it comes with is Pillow Talk, which I think is one of their most popular lipsticks. Oh, that is pretty. That is like the most pretty, like nudey pink color. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. And it's nice and creamy. Oh yeah, I like that a lot. That is a beautiful color. They have a lipstick in the color Pillow Talk. I might have to look into that. That's nice, I really do like that. So it comes with that, and then for lips, Sticks. It comes with two. So the first one is Blushing Dream, which one of these is exclusive to Nordstrom and you can't get it anywhere else. I don't know which one though. So Blushing Dream is a K-I-S-S-I-N-G lipstick. So it has a satin finish. Um, it doesn't say which one is the Nordstrom exclusive, but one of these is Nordstrom exclusive. Um... Uh, yeah okay so this one is the kissing kissing lipstick and then the other one is a matte lipstick so I think blushing dream is the Nordstrom exclusive I think really pretty I mean all of these are like the pinky nudes which are what I basically only wear that's really pretty it almost has like a cream maybe bordering on the like a satin finish that's nice and those would look good together too that's pretty. This is like perfect for summer, fall, I mean, really anytime. And then Rose Kiss is a matte, ow, a matte finish. Ow. And this one looks a little bit more brown, probably more fall appropriate. This one has a vanilla scent to it. I didn't notice a scent on this one, but this one has a vanilla scent to it, kind of like MAC. So this has like a slight terracotta hint tinge to it but it's more of just like a pinky beige. Those are really pretty colors. Those are colors I know I will use. And the packaging is like this rose gold, just like luxe tube. Oh my God, I'm so excited to have those. And then the second thing is the Charlotte Tilbury Glowing Palette, Glowing Pretty Skin Palette. So I've been really curious about their blushes and their bronzers, and this is kind of has everything in it. I will say I'm underwhelmed with the size of this palette. I was expecting it to be bigger. When I opened the box and I saw this, I was kind of like, oh, like that's not that big. And it is quite pricey. It's $75, which is a lot, but you're getting a lot in it. So it's $153 value is what the little thing says here. The lip kit, by the way, was $60. 
I'm not sure what price these go up to after the sale, but it'll all be online. And these are both still in stock too, which is awesome. So the cheek palette looks like this. It is so cute. So it has a little Charlotte Tilbury logo on it. This is kind of like her signature go-to. The back has the names of the blushes and bronzers on here. And basically this has two blushes, two bronzers, right? One contour and then a powder. I do have their finishing powder, um, the pressed finishing powder. I used it on my wedding day. It is beautiful. It is like one of the best finishing powders I think I own. It is so pretty. However, I use the color one and the one included in here is the color two, which I don't know. I think it'll still work. So here's the face powder. I like that they include a face powder in the palette. I think a lot of palettes forget about that. And if you're going to have like an all-inclusive face palette, don't forget your translucent setting powder. So although it's translucent, it is like a tiny, I mean, I'm sure it'll work. God, it's so soft. It's a little bit yellow, but if anything, I can use it to set my under eyes. And then this must be the bronzer. Yeah, bronzer and contour. It actually looks like it's going to be the perfect color for me. I don't think dark skin would suit well with this palette. It does kind of look like it caters to light to medium skin. That'll be perfect as a contour. It's matte. It has a little bit of a grayish undertone or like a taupey undertone. These two blushes are beautiful. I feel like my camera is kind of washing them out. There you go. You can see it a lot better like that. So here's the two blushes. They're both kind of peachy. So this one's more of like a true peach and that one's more of like a peachy pink. Super pretty. Both of them I know I'm going to love. Oh yeah. Oh, they look very similar. I kind of wish they would have done something totally different like a pink, like a true pink and a peach or even like a nude blush and a peach because they are super similar in color. But I, I think they're different enough. But yeah, I do kind of wish they would have picked something different. And then the two highlighters, one of them looks like it's going to be a little bit too golden for me. And then the top one looks like it's going to be perfect. It doesn't look like their highlighters are like super shimmery, which I kind of appreciate. I'm not sure that you're going to be able to see those on camera at all. I don't think the ring light's going to help either. Well, you can kind of see them a little bit better, but those are really pretty. I will be anxious to get those on my face. I'm already wearing a highlight today, so I'm not going to pop them on my face yet. But I think that these two kits are like a perfect combination of ways for me to like get my toes wet with Charlotte Tilbury it has a big nice mirror on it too so definitely loving that I can't wait to try this out okay so that's it for makeup I did pick up two pairs of earrings so the first one I have a pair on today I picked these up last year for the Nordstrom anniversary sale these are the rose gold version and they're going to be super hard to see but you can kind of see just like the effect that they give. I actually wore these on my wedding day. I just think they're perfect. Like they are cubic zirconian, but they look real, I guess. But then like they don't, they're not so big and fake and gaudy that you're like, oh, she's wearing fake diamond earrings. It's almost kind of like they can pass as real ones. You know what I mean? Like they're so pretty. So they have like the halo effect. Um, I'm going to put a screenshot on the screen for you so you can see because you won't be able to see that on my ear. But these are the rose gold. So I picked up these silver ones this year. So here's what they look like. They're just so pretty, you guys. Like I want to say they equal three carats if they were real diamonds. But they're right there. I, I actually debated buying these at full price very recently and I'm glad I waited because they're part of the sale. I can attest to the fact that after the sale these go up a lot in price. I think they go up like double the price um, and it is part of their like standard line. So if you like them, pick them up during the sale. They have rose gold, they have silver, and they have regular gold. I wear these all the time you guys. I've worn these to death. I wear them all the time and I always get compliments on them. So there's that. And then the other ones I picked up um, based off of Honeybee Philosophy, my friend Melissa, her recommendation. So she talked about this in her Nordstrom video. But these are the Nardi earrings and they look like this. I want to say these were pretty inexpensive. They might have been like $20, $30 on sale. And after the sale they go up, you know, probably like double the price. 
but these are the type of earrings that I probably wouldn't think about buying but once you see how beautiful they are on the earlobe like it's kind of like oh my god like why did I not ever see that before so they basically have this shape where when you put them on your ear it kind of gives the appearance of like multiple piercings or multiple holes in your ear so if you're somebody who's kind of like thought about getting um, like a second hole or a third hole but you're kind of nervous to, this will definitely give the appearance of having multiple like piercings. I have two piercings so I can wear these in my second hole or even my first hole. I just think they're so pretty. They kind of like crawl up your ear. So pretty. They also have these in rose gold and regular gold. I got the silver. I debated getting the rose gold. I might also get the rose gold. I just really like rose gold jewelry. I mean, my wedding band is rose gold. My engagement ring is um, white gold, but my wedding band is rose gold. I love like the mixed metals. I just, I can't figure out which one I like more. I think r silver and white gold is kind of more timeless, but I think rose gold is just so in and it's been in for a long time. So I might pick those up too. We'll see. Okay, as far as clothing goes, I didn't really dive into the clothing scene as much as I kind of wish I would mostly because I'm on a little bit more of a budget than I typically am um, so that kind of restricted me a lot there's a ton of clothes that I would really like to buy but uh, I didn't buy a whole lot like there's a lot of plaid shirts I was really interested in there's a ton of dresses that are work appropriate that I was really interested in there's some jeans I would love to buy I mean I could go ham and just spend all my money there because there's so many cute things but I didn't buy too much so the first thing I picked up were two of these t-shirts so these are by the brand Caslon and they were for like $11 I think there isn't a price tag on them I want to say they were $11 I picked them up and then after the sale they go up to like $25 or $30 which is still you know decently priced but I picked up this floral print one here. I didn't see this one at first and then as I was kind of browsing the site afterwards I found it. I love just like plain t-shirts. In fact, most of the time when I'm not filming, um, I'm wearing just a t-shirt. So when I'm running errands on the weekends, now for work I wear blouses, but when I'm not working and I'm not filming, I'm usually just wearing like a standard t-shirt. So this is perfect. It's not the best fabric, like it's not like, oh my god, so soft, but you know, it's a t-shirt, so I picked that one up, and then same brand, same style, I picked up this one here, which is kind of like a nautical blue and striped, blue and white striped. I like the shape of these. These are size small, and I feel like they're nice and long, they're nice and lean looking. The v-neck isn't going to be super deep, but it's nice, like it might show a little like peep of your cleavage, not too much, but I did really like these. I wanted to pick up some of the solid colors, but the solid ones are pretty much sold out by now. I think the black one might be available, but I picked those up. And then for sweaters, this is the only like full sweater I picked up. So this is so pretty and girly. It's by the brand Chelsea 28. I bought it in a small as well. It does have like a ribbed texture up here and then down here it's more of like a solid texture. I think this is a cashmere blend. I think I remember reading online. I don't own any cashmere sweaters. I just, I, don't, I just, I'm not, I don't know. I don't own any cashmere sweaters, but this one has 2% cashmere. So there's cashmere like sprinkled throughout, which makes it really, really soft. Like it's very, very soft. It's 40% nylon, 34% viscose. 22% polyester, 2% spandex, and 2% cashmere. It's hand wash, which is, you know, not my favorite, but I don't have to dry clean it. But what I really love about it is it has, like, these ruffles right here, which makes it so girly. The sleeves also have ruffles on the bottom. And then it has these pearl details, which is probably why it's hand wash, um, on each sleeve that makes it, like, so girly. So when you put your arm through it... It, see how it's like, I just, I just love little girly touches and details on things. They also have this in black and like a blush pink. When I was looking, the blush pink was sold out in a small, which is kind of a bummer because I feel like I would really like the blush pink. The black is really pretty too, like I'm debating buying the black as well. But this is so cute, I really, really love that. And then I picked up two um, cardigan type sweaters. 
So I have like a big long story about these that I don't really want to, you know, you can watch my Nordstrom rant if you want to see. But basically the first one I picked up is the Barefoot Dreams. You guys are probably tired of hearing about Barefoot Dreams. If you've been watching Nordstrom hauls like I have or anniversary videos like I have, you're probably just like over it. Like I don't want to hear about Barefoot Dreams anymore because everybody talks about Barefoot Dreams. But it's for a reason like it is not overhyped it is such a nice brand like this sweater is so soft you guys like it is one of the softest coziest feeling things i've ever felt in my life i don't own anything that feels like this like it feels like a cloud like i just want to like oh it feels so 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 good so this is their circle carnigan this sold out very very fast um, and I think they have it in plus size still available. So if you are plus size, then you're in luck because they, last time I checked, this was still available in plus size. And this also has been popping like on and off the website. Like sometimes it's there, sometimes it's not. So I guess the way it works is anytime anybody returns anything, um, it's available like for that return only. And I don't know, I've, I've seen things sell out and come back. So you might have some luck with it, but yeah, this is their Circle Carnigan. This is in the Heather Gray. They also had it in like a beige and a blue. I had the beige in my cart and I lost it. You can watch my rant video. But yeah, this is, oh my god, they're so good. Now, if you really want Barefoot Dreams, there are still plenty of Barefoot Dreams Carnigans left on the website. But the Circle one, which is this one, um, is sold out. I think the reason why is because it's just so like nice and sleek. So it does have pockets, but otherwise it's very like slimming. And I feel like you can wear it like to work or you can wear it at home or to the grocery store. Like it's just very versatile and not as casual looking. A lot of the other Barefoot Dreams carnigans look very casual. So this was on sale for $79. And I think after the sale, it goes up to like $120 or something like that. So definitely a steal. And then I definitely wanted like a beige kind of off-white oatmeal colored sweater. So I ended up picking up this one, which is by the brand Chelsea 28. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I've never even heard of Chelsea 28 until this sale. So this one is soft too. I mean, it's nowhere near the Barefoot Dreams. Like the Barefoot Dreams is softest thing ever. This one's nice. I mean, it feels like your standard cardigan but here's what it looks like what I love about it is it has a ruffles on the back like on the butt so I'm wondering if this brand kind of specializes in like really girly ruffly things because the other sweater has like the ruffles on the sleeve but when you wear this it stops just so to where the ruffles kind of stop like right on your butt and they just kind of like make your butt look a little bit bigger and it's just girly and fun and this color I feel like I could wear with many different things throughout the whole year so I don't know if there's pockets on it no there isn't pockets on this one but this is really nice I do not recall the price of this but it was much cheaper than the barefoot dreams one I do know that yeah there's no price on that so that's the last piece of clothing that I bought now lastly I have three pairs of shoes so the first one is a pair of boots these are by the brand Blondo I think is how you say that. So these are waterproof. I think they're leather also. Um, they have these in like three or four different colors. Now I bought a pair of booties last year for the Nordstrom anniversary sale and I wore them to death, you guys. They're kind of like a taupey camel color. So these are more of like a brown color. I am a little bit disappointed because there's like a dot. I don't know if you guys can see. See it right there? And these are, I don't know if they're sold out or yet sold out or not yet but like just returning is such a big old pain in the butt so I don't know whatever but here's what they look like they have zippers on both sides which I really like because it makes it so easy to put them on sometimes boots and booties are just ridiculously hard to put on but these I think will be a lot easier because they have the zippers on both sides although this zipper is kind of stuck I don't know but anyways, um, super soft leather, really nice. It does have a heel, but I think it's only like maybe two and a half inches. Nothing crazy. And they also have memory foam on the inside. So that's going to make them super comfortable. Like definitely stylish and comfortable all in one, which if you can get style and comfort all in one, I mean, heck. Okay, why are both of these hard to unzip? I don't know if that's like they're not supposed to zip past there. I don't know. 
but I'm going to feel, oh yeah, there's definitely memory foam in there. So I think these are going to be something that I wear quite a bit in the fall and the color is just really, really nice. So pick those up. I don't recall the price on these, but I will let you guys know in the description box. So that's the first pair of shoes. And then ooh, the second pair of shoes, actually these are both black flats. I didn't intend on buying two pairs of black flats. If you want to know more about why I bought two pairs of black flats, check out my rant video. But my intention was to just own the Ted Baker ones. So these were the first ones that I picked up. So these are the Ted Baker. Um, what is the style on these? Imet? I-M-M-E-T. Um, they still have the blue ones of these online, but the black ones are sold out now. But these are so cute. The box is so... I've never owned anything Ted Baker before, so... The packaging is like that millennial pink with rose gold, like very, very on trend. And then here's what they look like. I don't know if they're made of leather. I think they have to be for the price. I think they are made of leather. I'm not really too sure. Um, ooh, what is this? Super cushiony, highly breathable, moisture magnet. Ooh, I don't want it to be a moisture. Oh, moisture management. I'm like, ew. Um, antimicrobial function. Very cool. Ooh, I just, I'm just impressed with how luxe these feel. I'm really happy I got these because I didn't think I was going to. Um, Oh, the quotes on the box and the bottom of the shoe says, Cinderella is proof that a new pair of shoes can change your life. Ain't that the truth? So, anyways, I love bows. I'm such a girly person with the ruffles and the bows. So these have a nice little bow on them and then rose gold touch right here, which is so nice. And I'm hoping that these are comfortable. Oh yeah, those are going to be super comfortable. They're nice and squishy. The leather is like flexible. I have a pair of Jessica Simpson black flats that have a bow on them, but they're just like falling apart. Like all of my black flats are just falling apart and it is time for me to get some new ones. So I actually might end up keeping both of these just because I am, you know, kind of in the need of black flats. I wear black flats every day to work. These would be nice to wear with like a little black dress also or like jeans and a sweater just kind of dress them up a little bit so yeah these are really really nice definitely either keep an eye out for the black ones or check out the blue ones the blue ones are really nice too those would be nice with like blue jeans um all that so i'm super excited oh my god i feel so like bougie like i got ted baker i've never owned anything ted baker before Wait a minute, I have another pair. Okay, I have two more pairs of shoes. Whew, I thought for a second I was missing something because I remembered I ordered one more. Um, okay, so these are the second pair of black flats I purchased. So these are Tory Burch. Now these, I didn't initially intend to buy these. I wanted the Ted Baker ones, but I ended up buying these as a backup, like just in case. Watch my rant video, you'll understand. Um, oh no, those aren't the flats, those are the sandals. I'll show you those next. These are the flats. So, anyways, as I was watching like Nordstrom um, haul videos, people were saying how nice these were. So I guess in the past, Tory Burch flats have just been like very, very uncomfortable. And everyone was saying that these were like really comfortable and the leather was like really soft and they must have done something to like change the texture or whatever. So I was like, all right, those look nice. So here's what they look like. They smell like leather. Um, so it has this like Tory Burch, not rose gold, regular gold, but I mean, they do feel like a nice kind of flexible leather. I wonder if they're actually comfortable on the foot though. Well, they do feel like they're gonna be nice and comfortable. They fit nice and perfectly. I don't know. They do look really nice too. They look more like the Ted Baker ones are more girly with a bow. These are more like sophisticated and like professional or whatever. So these would be nice to wear to work. They do have these and these are still in stock. They have them in blue and I think like a blush pink, which is so pretty too. But these are pricey. These are a little bit more pricey than the Ted Baker ones. So I figured black I would wear more. I do love blush flats though. 
so I got those. And now the last pair of shoes I bought are some sandals. So most of the anniversary products are fall products, but they do have some summer stuff kind of sprinkled throughout. They also both come with this like dust ruffle bag or whatever it's called. I don't know. Whatever. I don't put my shoes in bags. <laughs> Maybe when I'm traveling. So these are, I feel like they're more of a summer piece. These are Tory Burch as well, and they are just like black, or not black, they have them in black as well. But I got the tan because I feel like something about like tan, nude, beige sandals, I, I tend to wear those more than colored sandals. Like I own a pair of black flip flops, I own a pair of blue flip flops, and I own a pair of like nude flip flops, and I wear the nude ones way more than anything else, and I'm kind of afraid they're going to break soon, which is why I wanted to pick these up. Um... But yeah, they're just a pair of like casual, I think these are made of leather as well, which means they're nice and durable. Yeah, leather upper lining. Um, they have this little buckle on them. I don't know, I just feel like they're going to be versatile. I can wear them in the summer, wear them in the spring. I can wear them with pretty much anything. Oh, they fit my foot nice. They look nice and stylish. So I thought I'd pick those up. Um, I really did want some new like beigey flip flops and these will part. Alright guys, so those are the products that I picked up during the Nordstrom anniversary sale. Let me know what your must have items are down in the comment section below. Again, this sale only goes through, I think it's the 4th or 5th, I'm pretty sure it's the, maybe it's the 4th of August. It's soon, so I'm sorry it took me so long to get this haul up, but again it took me forever to get my products. So. You might be waiting a while if you order online. Go in the store, check it out. I will say in-store, it is very, very picked over. Matt and I went to the in-store Nordstrom here in Charlotte last weekend, and it's very picked over. A lot of my size, a lot of the smaller sizes are gone. Um, but I will say that sometimes stuff that's sold out online, you can find in-store. Now, I know they tell you if it's sold out online, it's sold out in-store too, but I saw there's like a Rails plaid shirt that I really really wanted. It's too expensive though, I couldn't justify it. Um, even with the sale it's too expensive, but online it showed that the red one is sold out. I found it in store at our Nordstrom. So I know they say that if it's sold out online it's sold out in store, but it might not be. So if there's something that you really want that's sold out online, check out in store. Um, but yeah, definitely if you're interested in any of these items, you can access them through my link down below. I'll link directly to the items. Thank you guys so much for watching and thank you for following my Nordstrom journey. It's been a journey. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.